Collins as the issue student discovered the university had a little extra money lying around. And not just a few bucks in a drawer. We're talking more than $800,000 in student fees left unspent for years. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas talked to the student who found all that dough. So, Dylan, where was it? Jim, it turns out the money has been sitting in a bank account that was set aside years ago, untapped. So when current student body president Tristan Siren came across the cash, he was left with one big question. How does a college student spend upwards of $800,000? Pay for college. And buy a nice car, go on a nice vacation. More clothes. And educational resources for lower class children. $30,000 boat. An island. I invest it. Wildlife conservation. I'd buy my parents a house. While stumbling across $800,000, thousand dollars is a fantasy for these students. It was a recent reality for student body president Tristan Siren. The federal government is in debt by what, $22 trillion and I'm in a surplus. So in comparison, I think I'm doing pretty good. While reviewing the budget funded by student fees, Siren realized past student body presidents had rolled over their excess funds into an account which hasn't been tapped in years. You pay all this tuition, all this money in student fees, you should see the benefit of of it in the year in which you're at school. After fees, regulations, and paying outstanding debts. So there's really two, three hundred thousand dollars of money that you could blow. Last time money like this came about, student government brought in some band called the Rolling Stones. While a concert may be fun, Sirens says the money will go toward improving campus. You don't want to just blow money. You want to make sure it has the biggest impact possible. Aside from solar panels on the student center, he wants to address pedestrian safety at one of the campus's busiest interchanges, possibly with a roundabout. This area is like death central where everyone's getting hit. While the money he spends came from the pockets of students long gone, he has one message for alumni. Don't consider it that you lost the money. Consider it that you invested it into the future of the school. When we asked some students what they would spend the money on on campus, most of them said more parking, which is kind of funny because that stadium right there was just built a couple years ago over one of the campus's biggest parking lots. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you.